Now we'll start with the ingredients. One whole chicken, 500 grams of flat egg noodles, uh, you can use tagliatelle italiani if you like, uh, three onions which are going to be chopped up, ginger, one tablespoon of ginger which will be chopped up, five cloves of garlic which will be chopped up, uh, then we have turmeric, chili powder, one tablespoon each, and a very important item, fish sauce and fish paste. Then to denser we have the chickpea powder and then the coconut milk. We have the concentrated coconut milk and then the diluted. So to dilute the coconut milk all you have to do is take one half a cup, pour it into the two cups required of water and you have the diluted uh, coconut milk which is used to make the chicken melt into so that it becomes nice and juicy. But what is very important is what accompanies the noodles and the, the chicken curry. So we have lemons, chili powder and of course the coriander. Now the whole chicken has been cut into small bite-sized pieces. Uh, of course, you know, a chopper. How can we live without a chopper? So, this way. Your pasta is now done. So, we will get all the water out of it. And then, immediately, you will throw it into cold water. Now, this stops the cooking process. If it is still hot, add a little cold water, so to make it really nice and cold. Now, the chicken, which has been chopped, washed and well drained, is now to be marinated with one tablespoon of turmeric and two tablespoons of the fish sauce. One and two. So you just twist it and move it and so it is well covered. Now we are going to go on to what the chicken is going to cook in, which means the juices. And the recipe says, uh, as I said earlier, the uh, Onions, which have to be roughly cut up because we are actually, we are going to take a short cut huh? because we are not going to pound it by hand, but we are going to just put it in a blender. So we have the uh, three onions, we have the garlic. Now, just to make life easier, if you bang the garlic lightly, then you're able to peel it so much better because peeling garlic can be a terrible nuisance. Ginger, we need one tablespoon of ginger. So we have all these ingredients which we are now going to put into the blender. So we have now two tablespoons of the fish sauce, one, two, and then we have one tablespoon of the fish paste. Remember that all measurements have to be equal, huh? All in here. And then we need one tablespoon of turmeric. And we should put it in here. And now we will blend it all. We have our chicken which is marinated, we have onions, garlic and ginger which have been minced up and uh, now we are about to start the main part of the cooking. We are going to put the oil left from what was put into the mixer in here which is half a cup. So I shall light the fire and heat up the oil and then we are going to put the minced ingredients 
into the oil and we are going to let it brown until they become nice and golden. Now, as you see, the mixture is nice and golden. We are going to take the chicken and we are going to add it to its sauce, like so. And then we are going to mix it Now that your pieces of chicken are nice and golden and the sauce is starting to stick at the bottom of the, of the pot, which is very important because that's where all the goodies come from, you are going to add your one teaspoon of chili powder and we will pour in the two cups of diluted coconut milk because this is what is going to help to grate up all the goodies that are stuck at the bottom of the pot and then we will bring it to the boil we will lower the heat we will cover it and then we let it simmer until the chicken is absolutely tender pasta is ready, the chicken is almost ready, so let us prepare the condiments that will accompany the dish. As I said, coriander, lemons, so we are going to make the lemons into nice juiceable sizes, like this, in little, so we will put it in the cups. Then we have the coriander, which has to be finely minced. So we are going to put the coriander finely chopped in the bowl. And then we have our onion, which is going to be sliced. Now we're going to raise up the heat, remove the cover, and check that your chicken is almost dry it's ready when the oil starts coming to the surface which means that most of the liquid has uh, evaporated so at this point with it at a full boil we're going to add the concentrated coconut milk that we had put aside so we have added the coconut milk we're going to give it a nice stir. Now we're going to wait until the juices come to a boil. And then we are going to add the chickpea flour. So at that point, you have put it in. You have mixed it all up. You are going to lower the heat again, um, cover. And then we're ready to go to the table. Take a, a small amount of the noodles. And then they would take pieces of chicken. And then I would just sprinkle a little bit of coriander on top. Sprinkle a, a few bits of the onion. Uh, and uh, the chili powder, I would just put a little on the side. And then also the lemon would go to the side because you can squeeze it as much as you like. Now, this dish is ready to go to the first guest.